The brain is who we are, our abilities, our emotions, our memories. With 100 billion neurons, the human brain is the most complicated structure in the known universe. When something goes wrong with the brain, it can be devastating, a personal tragedy, because it changes who we are, what we think, what we feel. Even with the best surgery, brain tumors still kill more children and adults under the age of 40 than any other cancer. To fix this, we need to help surgeons navigate much better through the delicate pathways of the brain. In fact, we need to give surgeons a satna. We know that if you remove cancer completely, you can improve survival. But in the brain, the landscape often looks the same to human eyes, and it can be difficult to tell where healthy tissue stops and where cancer starts. It is only when you zoom into a microscopic scale that differences start to appear, and even then it might take the skill of a pathologist to be sure. The brain also gives us no margin for error. Every part is unique. For example, the areas for speech and movement are very close. If you accidentally remove or damage healthy cells, it can be catastrophic, leading to speech loss, paralysis. For me, this is an imaging challenge. To precisely map the edge of a brain tumor, we need to see and understand what is going on at a microscopic level. But to protect the brain, we need to see how that fits with the overall structure at a macroscopic level. A scan taken before surgery can provide a map to that structure, but surgery itself changes the map. A pathologist, on the other hand, can analyze microscopic tissue samples, but taking these samples interrupts the flow of the surgery. What the surgeon actually needs is a real-time view at both levels. This is the challenge that I'm taking on in my research at Imperial College. Can we take existing imaging techniques and build a SATNA for surgeons, giving them the information they need without interrupting their workflow? I am at the beginning of this journey, so I need to think creatively. We could try to image the whole brain. A magnetic resonance scan provides exquisite detail but conducting delicate surgery inside a scanner is not possible. So if we cannot have a single big scan of the brain, what if we, if we could instead build up a picture of the tissue from a series of microscopic images? Laser endomicroscopy uses small flexible probes to capture images at a micrometer scale. A human operator wouldn't be precise enough, but give this probe to a robot and you have a way to scan tissue systematically. Also, combine this with ultrasound and 3D geometry, and you can see both the microscopic detail and the bigger structure. Because the system can see at a microscopic scale, and because it also understands what is going on at a macroscopic scale, it can create a real-time view of the tissue in relation to important <coughs> brain areas. This allows the surgeon to know whether to go left or right. The potential of this platform is in a perfect dance between the surgeon and their robotic assistants, where the surgeon works to expose and remove damaged tissue, and the robotic assistants works, work around them to scan newly exposed tissue and guide where they should operate next, as well as highlight where they shouldn't. Of course, brain surgeons need to remove all the cancer, but at the same time, they need to protect brain functions, which makes us who we are. Real-time imaging means being able to tell the difference between healthy and cancer cells right at the moment where the surgeon needs to make a decision. By doing that, for the first time, the edge of brain cancers will be clearly visible throughout surgery. For patients, more complete removal of tumor cells promises better chances of remission. Also, protecting brain function means avoiding catastrophic outcomes. So by complementing and even improving surgical skill, this platform will soon make complete resection of brain tumors a reality. The brain is our abilities, our emotions, our memories. With almost 80,000 people being diagnosed with brain cancer in the next year, from doctors to dancers to designers, think about all the abilities the emotions and the memories that this technology could save. Thank you.